Here at LCLS we have um, six instruments built at the end of the free electron laser, each of which is purpose-built to study a different system or a different phenomenon. Here in AMO, the instrument was built to study the simplest forms of matter, atoms and molecules, and by that I mean free atoms and molecules. I'm John Bozak, I'm an instrument scientist here at LCLS working for the uh, Atomic and Molecular and Optical Physics instrument. Atomic, molecular and optical physics uh, implies by its name that we're dealing with atoms and molecules and even photons um, to try and study how they all interact with each other. You can think of it as the simplest forms of matter or simplest forms of, of uh, ground state matter, atoms, molecules, so we're interested in how the intense beam of x-rays at the LCLS interacts with those simple materials. By doing those sorts of experiments on atoms and molecules, we can build up the building blocks of understanding of how the X-ray pulse interacts with matter that then feeds into understanding more complex phenomena. And what we're really doing is chemistry at the mechanistic level. It's like we have Lego blocks and we're taking apart the chemical reactions with these Lego blocks and able to understand them in the simplest format. So if we understand how the LCLS FEL pulse interacts with an atom, then using that information, we can understand how the LCLS pulse interacts with a biological protein that's made up of a million atoms and understand the results that we get from that better than we would if we just illuminated the, the protein for the, in the first place. Just like in education, you learn a certain model of, of, of how the elements are put together out of protons and electrons, and then as you advance in science, you learn, well, that's not quite right, it's a little more complex than that, and it's the same thing here. We're trying to do the simplest experiments in, in AMO, the simplest things that we can imagine, isolated atoms, isolated molecules interacting with, uh, with the light from the LCLS so that we can really understand where all of the energy is going when we, when we hit the atom or the molecule with the LCLS pulse.